This is Project Deck Tactics, a roguelike turn-based tactic RPG deck builder in the style of a game book. That last bit, the game book part, was something that I only recently added to the game's tagline. Let me explain why. But before that, some of you might not know what a game book is. Essentially, it's a game that you play within a book. The readers can affect the outcome of the book's story by choosing different paths in its branching narratives. They can also do battle against a myriad of foes with their book's battle system, and some even have crafting mechanics and inventory management the readers can engage with. The more advanced game book out there acts like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign that you can play alone, but the ones people are more familiar with are probably the choose your own adventure type books. Those only have branching narratives as their game systems and are the simplest form of game books out there. I wanted to have that as my tagline because it's more popular, but game book is a more accurate description of my game. So what's the deal with me adding the game book tag to my game? Because I have only just realized it, but my game shares a lot of similarities to what a game book is. I thought I should just embrace it and draw it as inspiration. Plus, from what I could see in the rock-like deck builder market, there aren't that many games out there that emphasize on delivering unique narrative experience. And game books usually tell unique and interesting stories. Maybe by giving my game story a fair bit more attention, it will have a bit more leg to stand on in the growing indie game market. So how am I going to achieve in delivering a unique narrative experience? I mentioned the random events some a while back in my previous devlog. They will act as the base of what's to come. Currently, random events are like small self-contained stories that the player can engage with during their run to gain some kind of reward. What I want to do is further extend the random event system to not be as self-contained as it is now, but rather I want what happens in a random event to propagate to future and past events. For example, maybe the player will unlock a new path because of a choice they made, or maybe their choices alter how the battle commences thereafter. Essentially what I want to do is have the player influence the story and setting of the game to some capacity. This would make the random event more interesting as well, instead of it being just another method of getting more cards, items, artifacts, as they are now. They can become a mechanic to change the gameplay itself. So that's the new addition that I'm thinking of putting to the game. It's an exciting new idea that I can't wait to implement, but unfortunately one that I'm going to have to hold off for now. There's another more pressing matter for me to address first. I still have to finish up and test the battle system before I can even add new things to the game. Fortunately, the battle system is largely done. All I have to do is add in some initial content to fully test it out and see where things need patching up. In the next month, I'll be focusing solely on polishing the game battle system. Then I'll do a playtest to see if the fun is there already or if I need to further add or remove components to the battle system to reach that goal. Now, that's all I have for this devlog. Thank you for watching and that's all for me. See you next time.